Welcome to The Colonel Does an Epic. Well, we are in the tower. I don't know if this is the last area of the game or not, but we will find out soon enough, I think. So let's talk to Mr. Yoda here. To strange places your steps take you. Oh, the Hustler Oracle. <laughs> Funny your words are. But what are you doing here? Aren't you too far from the mine? Your fate here is chosen. Woot? Three objects <laughs> these chests contain. Only one you may choose. To a different fate, each object will take you. You must wisely choose. And how can I choose one? What are the fates? What clues do I have? Only fate knows the fates. So, in other words, <laughs> you have no idea. What a crap oracle. And how do I open them? The key of fate you need. Have it you can. For just 200 coins. And what about if I cut your head off and take it for free? For just 100 coins, I could <laughs> leave it. Hmm. Okay, deal. You're lucky I hate violence. <laughs> Uh, did I pay him? Here's your money, you old sixpenny hustler. Now give me my key. Here it is. Only once can you use it. Remember, you must. Choose a chest, open it, and keep its content until the end of the game. The item you choose will define the end of the game. Well... Interesting. So what does that mean? So how do I know which chest to pick? And since I'm a completist, that means I have to do all three. Ah. Um. Alright, I'm going to avoid making that decision at the moment. Well, I guess I can't. Oh, man. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, <laughs> one, two, or three. Uh, let's go for number one, I guess. Fate of horrendous death. <laughs> oh, man. That's not good. If I had any sense, I would have saved that. But I don't. Oh, here we go. I salute you again. You are admirable. Your powers grow with every step you take. Yeah, but the enemies get tougher, you know? By the way, what is this place? You are in the Forgotten Tower. Here dwell spirits and lamenting ghosts. Really? Then are you a lamenting ghost? This is not my place. I'm here just to warn you that you must be careful with them, as they are invisible to the eye, and only the divine magic of light can harm them. Invisible? Then, if I can't see them, how can I kill them? You can harm them, even if you can't see them. Only if you use the divine magic of light. Hey, thanks for the advice. It's a pleasure to help you. It's a pleasure to help you. <laughs> I cannot stand that lamentable entity. He might be lamentable, Zira, but at least he hasn't been captured and turned into a slave like you. Oh, snap! All right, so we need to figure out what spells we have because I know that there I think either they're spells or they're potions, but I think they're spells. Uh, this one is the bolt of light. Okay. This one is don't care about that. Uh, teleport. So there is an invisibility thing. I think it might be a potion as well. 
to be able to see the invisible. Uh, so we might have to be going back to... Wow, that was great grammar. We might have to go back and find... Find some spells or potions for invisibility. <laughs> or we could open the chest. <laughs> uh, too funny. No! Well, that kind of sucked. I wanted to go up. That was neat. <laughs> My jumping skills are very, very bad. Always have been in this game. Because the controls don't work right. Oh my god, you're supposed to jump diagonal, man. There we go. Oh, well that was... useless. Alright, let's go through here. Set our door, so we're at the top here. to set the vine light. Uh, let's use it there. Holy crap. That takes a lot of hit points. Sorry about that. My headphones hit the microphone. Um, hmm. Are you... No! 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 Oh my god. Oh. Don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. Holy crap. These better not be those vampire bats. Oh, I'm not sure if it was the bats that stole my stuff. Or those other guys. go okay I think we got most of that place lit up I need to go over here light this up then we can finally go down all right Seems kind of useless. Oh, damn bats. Oh, my God.
What are we supposed to even do in this tower? I gotta have something better than just a, a bolt of light. Holy crap, 1500? Well, that was a waste. Oh my god. So they don't hit me too much, so they're just annoying. That's really what it comes down to. So I think I can live with that. Still don't know what the heck I'm doing here though. Suppose... I could equip those potions. Um, if I can find them. There we go. So I still can't do anything with them. So there's really no point. Not that important to get into a secret area, if there is one. Oh, for crying out loud. That was the last light there, too. There wasn't a light? Oh yeah, there was. Over here. Alright. That's that one. I'm missing a light here. I didn't hear a chime. Okay, so what are we doing here? I guess we go this way. Start at the bottom. Don't like that at all. Oh. Where did he come from? Oh man. God. <laughs> oh, those things are so annoying. What? How am I all the way back here? I swear to God, the save game on this thing is so friggin' weird. Did it even remember the other stuff that I did? No. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, let me get back to where I was and um, I'll come back. Okay, so we have gone. I've basically gotten back to where we were and saved my game so that I don't have to redo that stuff again. And uh, I saw this stairway here, or ladder, so I thought we'd come down here and see what we got. And so it's another section down this way. So here's where we are. Oh, we're back into the other section. Ooh. Was that another another area up here? Oh, it is. 
Sweet. All right. Well, that's good. I don't think it helps us any, but it's good. So the vampire bats are down here. And, oh, my lord. These things are annoying. All right. So they're down there, but they're not up here. That's fine. You can live with that. Alright. So let's get back over into this other area. Not extremely... Ri not riveting gameplay. But... Kind of forcing us to be patient here. didn't work out. Oh, man. How can I fly backwards? How? Okay, different tactic. So I put my aura, my aura, heat aura back on, and that seems to work nicely. On the other hand, uh, I've run out of divine, whatever it's called, divine favor, and uh, I have no, no bolt of light left. So I'm kind of, kind of screwed in that regard. So I'm not sure how far we're going to get here, uh, if we are in need of killing these guys, but... Wow. Oops. What did I do there? <laughs> Alright, no more frog. Alright, so that sort of worked out, I guess. After about five different attempts. Ring of Skies. What is a Ring of Skies? Increases your jumping distance. Um, yes, please. <clears throat> All right. Are you kidding? I'm gonna make my way back. Uh... Oh. Gonna have to get used to that. Oh, for criminy. Alright, so I think we're done on this section, so we just need to go back the other way. And go down, like we tried to do before. I think we tried to do that on camera. Oh, we did. Oh my lord. Alright, I don't care about that sword. Not a big deal. Oh, what? He stole again? Oh, there's two guys. Alright, don't care about the solar swords. Get up there, man. So where are we going, then? Is there a, miss a door that I missed? There must be. Oh. Uh... Yeah, there is. Good God. <laughs> Hello? Pay attention. Go up. Oh, for f fuzzballs. Alright, this is getting annoying. Oh, for. So, this new jump is kind of messing with my timing. Not that I had much timing to begin with, mind you. There we go. Oh, man.
Okay, so there's a bunch of guys here that are going to steal my stuff. And I don't want them to. Alright, that didn't think that would work. Oh, man. Man, leave me alone. All right. Get these lights lit. Oh, come on. Go. Not a problem, not a problem. Got these last two done. Ooh, that was... That worked out. Oh, come on. Alrighty. So we're gonna go up, or we're gonna go over? I think we're gonna go up. What's hurting me? What is hurting me? Oh, poison. Duh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Alright, so let's not go up for now. Because I don't like those spiders. I'm screwed of spiders. So let us just go over then. And hopefully there's none over there. Oh, what's this? Oh, another section. Noctis Umbria. Ooh. Zorok Koa Dormash. Pax Yurat Trust Kornak. Oh, Trust Lord. Kira Horach Yamoresh. Zernika Drakos. Soros Kosh Morak. Dormash. Hmm. Koyok. Kurt Norek Humano Shomarak. Dorgo Meroshiak. Yorak. What the hell are you saying? Pal, have you lost your mind, or were you talking in your sleep? What? Did you hear me? How is that possible? Jeez, of course I heard you. You started to talk in a strange language that sounds like Jabba the Hutt crossed <laughs> with those necromancers. <laughs> it is the black tongue. Oh, yeah. My tongue also turns black when I eat licorice, you know? But the fact is, you suddenly started to talk funny. You are a meddler. That was a private conversation. It was no concern of yours. Were you talking to someone? Of course, your telepathy. You were receiving orders telepathically. And what did they say? This is not your business. Mm, but they know that I do not control this body. Great. Awesome, huh? At least you won't be exiled or melted or whatever it is. That is true. Wow, pal, I'm happy for you. You are happy for my fortune? But I am your enemy. But you consider me also a friend like Magneto and Xavier, <laughs> right? Yeah, you're finally catching on. <laughs> that was just weird. Oh. By all the captains of Star Trek. What place is this? We are in the Tower of Mages. Here you will have to use your wits to overcome the sorcerers. Above all, destroy the floating eyes. They cast slowing spells that will hinder your movement. Moreover, you must be careful with the blue sorcerers. Their power resides in frost. Do not get too close as their frozen breath will freeze you. Zira! All this help! Just like that? No tricks? Not this time. Why this drastic change? You don't want my death anymore? Are you treating me like a friend? 
Nonsense. I'm just carrying out my... Your what? Nothing. Forget what I said. Your... orders? Is that it? Are you just carrying out your... orders? The telepathic conference call from a minute ago was to command you to help me? Yes. Wow. Why? I must take you before the great lord. Are you serious? Why? I do not know the reason. Maybe he wants to kill you in person. <laughs> you can consider it a great honor to die before such a powerful being as him. So your master wants you to take me to him. And where is he exactly? In the top of this tower. Well, Zira, let's not keep your boss waiting. Uh, I disagree. Um, I think we are going to uh, keep the boss waiting for a bit because we still have this other section that we need to finish. But I think we are going to finish that in the next episode. Yeah, I think we're going to end right here. And in the next episode, we'll try and finish the other section. So we've got all this area up here that we need to finish. So uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And until next episode, please do take care.